Philippines Department of National Defense and the Turkish Ministry of Defense has successfully delivered the first two of six T-129B attack helicopters from Turkish Aerospace Industries. With this development, the Philippine Air Force is planning for additional orders to be made, instead of purchasing another batch of attack helicopters from another manufacturer. In this video, we will see the planned acquisition of additional T-129B attack helicopters to complement the original six units acquired under an earlier project. It would be remembered that the attack helicopter project involved the acquisition of eight Agusta Westland Power Light Armed Helicopters, and the original plan was to acquire another 24 units to completely replace the aging McDonnell Douglas MG Defender Light Armed Helicopters of the Philippine Air Force 15th Strike Wing. But six attack helicopters, regardless if they are more capable than the power light armed helicopters, are still not enough both in terms of quantity and firepower delivery. It is also quantitatively not enough for form a complete squadron. With this, a separate project to acquire at least six more helicopters was formed, with funding being requested from the national government, while negotiations were made with Turkey to allow for the sale of additional attack helicopters at a price not too far off from the original project. It is logical to procure additional T-129B attack helicopters rather than procuring another type of helicopter. And despite offers made by American and European companies, the Department of National Defense and Philippine Air Force are expected to stick with the T-129B. As of August 2022, Max Defense Philippines confirmed that budget request has already been made by the Department of National Defense as early as before the end of former President Rodrigo Duterte term, although it remains to be seen if the government under new President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. would support the planned acquisition.